Jet lagged and a bit overwhelmed by all of the national news coverage, 17-year-old Eric Chin is struggling to process his newfound fame. I don't know what to feel anymore. It was truly an honor out of those incredible finalists to be chosen as the winner. In Washington, D.C., Eric was treated like royalty at a red carpet, black tie, Nobel award level celebration where he competed against the most promising high school students in America. Eric says he was shocked when he won the Intel Science Talent Search and the $100,000 top prize. Eric is developing a new drug to prevent the flu virus from replicating. A success for me would be to uh, be able to get a drug actually on the market and saving lives. Finishing first out of 40 finalists bodes well for Eric's future. In the past 74 years, eight of the Intel finalists have gone on to win the Nobel Prize. <laughs> CBS 8 recently spent an afternoon with Eric at UC San Diego's biochem lab. The campus is allowing Eric to work at its facility because of its commitment to STEM education, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, which are all of Eric's favorite subjects. I guess when I was little I was very, very curious, um, asked way too many questions for my parents' good health, but um, I, many times I found that science had the answers and that really, um, I guess, was the reason I fell in love with science. Even though Eric met President Obama and was chauffeured in SUV limos, the high school senior says it feels good to be home sweet home. Be honest, you've got to be tired. You probably just want to go to sleep, right? A, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Last night, um, we kind of, we slept very little because we're just, it's finally over, we can party, I guess. <laughs> Eric has now won three very prestigious science competitions, including one sponsored by Google. In all, he has earned a quarter of a million dollars in scholarship money. And Barbara Lee, now he needs to decide whether he will go to Stanford or Harvard. He hasn't made up his mind yet. Back to you. Those are both pretty good options from what I hear. Good for him. That's incredible. CBS News 8 has a new project. It's entitled Innovate 8. With UC San Diego and the County Office of Education, the partnership hopes to inspire students to excel in STEM education. If you'd like more information, log on to our website, cbs8.com.